Margaret has atrial fibrillation, or AF. It's an abnormal heart rhythm caused by erratic electrical signals, which is the most common type of abnormal heart rhythm. If you have atrial fibrillation, you might notice these symptoms. Atrial fibrillation is projected to occur in 8 million people in the U.S. and about 33 million people worldwide. Unfortunately, it's often undiagnosed and undertreated. Untreated, atrial fibrillation can grow worse over time and possibly damage the heart tissue. Atrial fibrillation increases the risk of stroke by five times. The erratic electrical signals that cause atrial fibrillation often begin in the left atrium. These trigger points can include the base of the pulmonary veins, the posterior wall or back of the heart wall, the left atrial appendage. Atrial fibrillation has several stages. Paroxysmal atrial fibrillation stops on its own or with intervention within seven days. If atrial fibrillation continues untreated, it can become advanced atrial fibrillation. Advanced atrial fibrillation includes persistent atrial fibrillation, which lasts beyond seven days, and long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation, which lasts more than one year. Over time, atrial fibrillation can harm the heart. Atrial fibrillation can be treated several ways. Make lifestyle changes like these. Medications to control heart rate and rhythm. Cardioversion, which seeks to restore normal heart rhythm through a controlled electric shock to the outside of the chest. Ablation creates lesions on the inside or outside of the heart to stop atrial fibrillation. We will discuss the two types of ablation in just a moment. Ablation can stop the erratic electrical signals that cause atrial fibrillation by forming lesions on the inside or outside of your heart. A lesion is a barrier that can eliminate the trigger areas for atrial fibrillation. Ideally, a lesion would be transmural, meaning all the way through the heart tissue. The more transmural the lesion, the more effective the barrier. If successful, these atrial fibrillation trigger points are eliminated. Over the months following an ablation, your heart rhythm and heart function should improve. There are two types of ablation. Epicardial ablation creates a lesion on the outside of the heart. Endocardial ablation creates a lesion on the inside of the heart. However, it's difficult to penetrate all the way through heart tissue, transmural, when treated from just one side of the heart. That's why the hybrid atrial fibrillation therapy option exists, which combines both epicardial and endocardial ablation, creating lesions on both the inside and outside of the heart. Hybrid ablation can be more effective in creating a barrier to stop the erratic electrical signals of atrial fibrillation. Part one of the hybrid procedure is epicardial. The doctor makes a small two to three centimeter incision under the breastbone. Once the doctor has access to the heart, they create lesions across the posterior or back wall of the left side of the heart. These epicardial lesions overlap to create a barrier to the erratic electrical signals. Epicardial lesions target areas of the heart that cannot be reached from the inside of the heart. Part two of the hybrid procedure is endocardial. A second doctor makes a small incision in the femoral vein. This allows access to your heart through the vein. The doctor looks at an electrical map of your heart. It can show any remaining abnormal electrical signals after your first procedure. The doctor creates lesions at the pulmonary veins and any areas that still have abnormal activity, overlapping the lesions on the outside of the heart and ensuring the lesions create a durable barrier. Endocardial lesions treat areas of the heart that can't be reached epicardially. Once these ablations are performed, the doctor verifies the procedures are complete. The good news is when atrial fibrillation is successfully treated, it can reverse the stretching of the left atrium. Improve your symptoms, meaning fewer heart medications are needed. Talk to your healthcare professional to learn more about the best atrial fibrillation treatment for you. What is the recovery like after hybrid atrial fibrillation therapy ablation? The hospital stay will be typically two to three days. 
Your doctor will provide medication to prevent inflammation. You can resume taking needed heart medications after the procedure as directed by your doctor. You'll be given a patient card with important information about your procedures, medicines, and whom to call after you leave the hospital. Keep this in your wallet or purse. Your healthcare team will let you know when you can return to your daily activities.